Hello, and welcome to the official Broad Wasted Podcast, where we're drunk on theater. I'm your host, Brian Plopsky, and apparently we've totally skipped fall and are waiting for a spring awakening. Oh. Oh, no. On the town, we're Le Miserable, but on the 20th century, we're turning violent. I stay warm because she loves me, that Cinderella, but we both still think that Fiddler on the Roof is a mystery Edwin Drood would love to know the answer to. <laughs> that was good. I like that. That was a lot. Do you know what that is? I mean, there's your Those puns. Were puns. Uh, no, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard this show before. <laughs> Those were um, all the losing revivals from the past three years of the Tony. I see. Incredible. Oh. Oh. I was trying to figure out how he could have been in every single one yeah, of those I was, shows. I was, well, I thought that's where we were starting, and I was, I, was like, like, I was like, I was definitely not in any of those except one of them, so I don't... I like, that's, uh, you're just Broadway swing. You just swung all of us. Sure, yeah. <laughs> definitely qualified to do that. So joining us today is the usual revival love and fools, including Kevin Annie 3. Molly's totally okay. <laughs> Jagger. I liked your movie man voice. Thank you. Molly's totally okay. In a world. In a world. Um, and Kimberly, our game master, an unofficial babysitter for the hour. Keeping you safe. Keeping us safe since May. earlier this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with us today is a great guest who made his Broadway debut in the 2015 Tony nominated revival of Spring Awakening as the voice and guitar of Moritz. Let's give a big Broadway to welcome to Friend of the Show. Friend of the Show. Friend of the Show. Alex Bonilla. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram and Twitter at Alex Boniello, his name, um, on both of those, <laughs> together, at symbol in front of it. Um, <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, you're very welcome. It checks out. And, yeah, at this point, if nobody has used Twitter or Instagram before... <laughs> no, they don't use it. Brian's helping you out. Yeah. Um, the more you know. Great. So, uh, let's just start. Let's just go right to it. What are we drinking? What are we drinking? What are we drinking? Yeah, I just blatantly didn't sing it this time. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> um... I poured Ooh. everyone. You did. What did you pour for us, bartender? Uh, a Jack Daniels and a Schweppes ginger ale. So, Jack and Ginger. Jack and Ginger. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers again. I guess cheers. that's the correct name. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I was really torn because I didn't know if I should get Schweppes or Canada Dry. This is something that doesn't matter at all when you're... But, yeah, I didn't think... Drinking, thing. Whiskey. <laughs> drinking whiskey. It's, it's <laughs> just like, I was like, as long as I've got Jack Daniels, it doesn't really matter oh, yeah. what the ginger ale yeah. is. <laughs> So, what do we want to do first? Do you want to do what have you seen this week, or do we want to, uh, Alex, you want to fill some questions? Up to you. Gosh, uh, let's let's we're gonna do them both, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then let's oh. let's. Uh, what do we what do we seen? Let's yeah. see. What have you seen what this week? What have you seen this week? What have you seen? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> have you seen what, anything this week? What have I seen? Or recently, or in the near future? Um. Oh hello future. is oh hello is very high on my list. I gotta I gotta I gotta do it. Um. You know, I keep seeing the too much tuna guests get posted on Twitter, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and like every single time one's posted, I'm like, oh man, that would have been a good one to see. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, that's and I'm saying this out loud to hold myself to it because like <laughs> I cannot let that show get away. Like I can't yeah. I can't let it get away. But what have I seen? I mean, I've been seeing, I've been doing this thing called Namped. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. we, we we had the first performance of that today, so it's this thing where composers, I guess. The, I, I, this may the be wrong. National Alliance of Musical Theater. Yes, there yeah. we go. Explaining the that would be good. Um, <laughs> so I thing, went as an audience member last year. So yeah. I can oh, speak great. To that side. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So I mean, it seems you know the, these composers get to submit pieces of their work to be seen by large amounts of industry people. So yeah. um, I'm working on a show called Mortality Play um, by Scotty Arnold and uh, Alana Jacoby. Uh, maybe I'm pronouncing her last name wrong. I'm not sure. But she's great, um, and it's it's a cool it's a cool thing. So I've been seeing I've been seeing that happen because you know with these things you have like three days to rehearse. So you know, and I thought it was kind of just more of a traditional reading. You know, you like rehearse for however many hours you're allowed, and then you do the thing. But this morning we get there at New World Stages, and I realize I'm like, oh wait, this is like like yeah. this is this is like the. It's like the Sundance Film Festival of musical theater. Like, yeah, it, NAMT is crazy. It's nuts. Like, New World Stages has two levels and numerous theaters, and every theater has a different show and a different line of people getting ready to do it, and, like, lots and lots of industry people are mm. there to see all of the shows, take notes, do this and that. So it was, like, this wild, wild thing. So I, I got to see a lot of friends who I haven't seen in a while who are all doing other shows and see how our show came together, like... In air quotes. I'm doing air quotes. Uh, on, its, <laughs> on its feet. 
So yeah, that's 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 what I've seen, and that's cool. what I want to see. With uh, Katie Cabot, stage manager. Yes. Yeah. That is that is her. Oh, Shout out Katie. Hi, Katie. Katie shows up everywhere. Yeah, I love Katie. Cheers to Katie. Uh, Cheers to Katie Cabot and <laughs> Namped. Yeah. Namped is really fun because you have to qualify to be a member of Namped, mm-hmm. and only members can attend the festival. Oh. Or as I did, a friend of a person who's in the show, you can get right. a ticket to that one show. Okay. But if you're a NAMPT member, you just register for whatever shows you want to see. They're staggered enough that you can see three, four, five a day. Right. And they, I think they're only an hour? 45. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. That's cool. And then I think there's a 15-minute flip over. Uh-huh. And it's just like, it's a huge networking event for the people who are going to watch the mm-hmm. things. And then it's this just like love affair with new musicals. Yeah, that's amazing. Happening for what, two days? Three? Uh, today and tomorrow, so two, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And I mean... It, New World gets packed. I didn't expect it. I yeah. mean, I, I we, we came out from the wings to, like, sit down at, at our stools and do it. Yeah. There were, like, 300 people there. Yeah. And I was like, whoa! Like, That's so, a lot like, of that space. Yeah, and we're doing it at 11.30 a.m., and tomorrow our slot is at 9.30 a.m., so I'm, gonna, I'm like, going to yeah. wake up and just be like, I'm going to hope these notes exist somewhere. <laughs> and just, like, hope yeah, hope right. that I don't ruin this new musical. But again, like, people are you're performing for theater people who are like, it is 9.30. They're, like... The heroes I would right like to, now. I would like to hope that that's the case. Yeah, and then there's like the one old lady in the background that's just like, well, they can't sing at all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> where where is she not? <laughs> uh, what have you guys seen? Um. Well, I'm going to see Falsettos with Brian tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, because cool. I or the time is there. We've seen it already. Oh, it was great. It's terrible. I yeah, don't know. We'll Pick on. one. <laughs> it's, it's, I saw it already. It's great. It's great. Oh, I'm awesome. so excited. Yeah, Brian had a snafu when he was getting his lottery tickets, so they gave him two comp seats instead. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um. So shout out to the GMs over at Falsettos for being awesome about and that. And we had a competition to see who would win the no, second I, oh, ticket. No, I didn't know comps. I paid for them. And oh, I, and they were just, oh, they're they re- still lottery they tickets. They lottery me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He see. got new lottery tickets. But they're awesome. We're literally front row. Great. Like center. Yeah, we'll they're front right center. It's we'll great. Right <laughs> we'll be holding on to the ground. To see everybody's tears really, really close awesome. and, and real good. Why is it sad? Mm. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> uh, no spoilers. So we've seen that. And then, um, did we all see the Hamilton documentary? Oh, we yeah. Did. yeah I, I did watched watch it. That. Cozied up on? in bed. What are your thoughts? Um, so I, I, I loved seeing that for... I'm, I'm going to drop a name so hard that it's going to shake the quake. So I know Lynn, um, because we did a 21 Jump Street together. And, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Which, watch that. Yeah, it's really, really fun. It's really <laughs> cool. Um, but, so I remember, you know, we were working on this right before, or it was like one or two weeks after the final workshop of Hamilton. Mm-hmm. And he was just talking to me about it, like, yeah, like, I'm working on this show called Hamilton. And, like, to think about it like that, like, I'm, yeah, I'm writing a new show. I'm, like, excited to see how it comes out. Now knowing what it became is nuts, especially when... You know, so many parts of that documentary are showing him. He's like, yeah, I'm, like, moving into this place I'm renovating. And I remember talking to him. But he's like, I'm renovating a place right now. And I'm like, this and that. So it's wild to go back and see that, to see the future of it, and to see, you know, these people that – some of which I'm friends with, some of which I'm not friends with. But to see everybody's, like, wild ride on this show that became, like, the just that the show. biggest thing ever. And also um, to hear to, – to have – my favorite part about it was when Chris Jackson and Dovey Diggs were talking about how they play these roles, and it's something that I think a lot of people aren't thinking about, but these actors have thought about. I think in David's words, he said, like, so I'm playing Thomas Jefferson, but, like, he sucked. Like, we got to remember, like, he, this guy owned slaves. He was not... And, it, it, and, and to hear Chris Jackson talk about how he's made peace to the best of his ability with the fact that he's playing this man that we all, you know, think of as, as larger than life, this, like, amazing person... But you have to remember again, he owned slaves and, and there's 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 so much I think importance in like appreciating and respecting someone's genius and being able to separate that from the person that they are. And yeah. to, you know, mm-hmm. to hear them talk about, you know, like I may love this rapper and all of the work that they do, but like, you know, some of his lyrics may be like riddled with homophobia and sexism, but like I'm separating those two things, and I think that's something really, really important, especially for the younger fans of Hamilton to yeah. remember. Um, you know, that Hamilton was a ridiculously flawed human being. He yeah. was a jerk a lot of the time, and, and to hear them talk about this is awesome because it reminds you of all the care and work they took into into 
this whole show. I went on a long tangent, but I liked that documentary. No, it was a good one. Yeah. It was so good. I wanted it to be longer. Like anytime yeah. an interview was over, I was like, "Is there somewhere where I can watch the raw footage of that whole thing?" I know. Like the B-roll. Sondheim. Just, just more people. <laughs> well, they, I mean, they. It was very clear from that documentary too that. I mean, we knew they taped it, but they have that thing taped, and I hope one day, yeah, that that can come out. It'll at least go into the um, archives well, for sure. The archives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that I think that happened no matter what. But you but know, they had good shots. Like they had they shots had, like more on stage, and I was like, they. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're gonna yeah, wait two little, years, yeah. and it'll. I hope. Wait, yeah, we'll see how they're. Yeah, because they'll. That, but yeah. it'll be a fathom Maybe event for the weekend. Yeah. It'll yeah. make so <laughs> much money. You know what's going to be a fathom event tangent. They're releasing she Space, Allegiance? Space Jam. Oh, she Wait, loves Space Jam, too. And Allegiance, I think, too. But also yeah. Space Jam, guys. <laughs> you can just watch Space Jam whenever but, you want. But now you go to the big screen and watch yeah. Space Jam. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's I mean, your it chance. Is a good Do movie. your dance. Michael Jordan Space Jam. and Bugs Bunny. Is and that the quote? The and green and purple and the the monster. Monster. Yeah, they get them. The they get them. They get them. Anyway, Kevin, did you watch it? It's in my DVR. <laughs> I've been very busy. Kevin has seen none of Hamilton. I'm also kind ever. of afraid that if I watch it, it's going to like ruin not having seen it yet. You'll be like, okay. Like ruining your first time seeing yeah. it? Just, have you listened to the album at all? Yes. Okay, you're no, fine. you're fine. Yeah, yeah you're okay. fine. It looks the way it... Do they have actually, muskets in the, in the documentary? I believe they do. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Tony Knight. Um, that was yeah, a nice. That was huh? nice. In muskets. Um, yeah, so watch it. If you ha- I'm, I'm sure you probably watched it, except for Kevin. But um, <laughs> well, let's give a cheers to PBS. They did an incredible job. Yeah, great cheers, job. PBS. Great performances. Mm-hmm. Great performances. Is the name of the series in which oh, yeah, they put yeah, yeah, things yeah. on yes. PBS. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's, um, let's ask you some questions now. Ask them. Great. So let's just straight up start with how you booked Spring Awakening. Um, like what was the process? Was it kind of crazy? Was it pretty straightforward? There wasn't a process. Um, so I was sitting on my couch uh, waiting to go to a catering shift. I was... Do, do, you, do you really not know the story? Cause it's, no. It's, oh, wow. It's, uh, I've talked about it a couple of times, and I love seeing people's faces because it's... It's, it's bull- <laughs> no. Yeah, this story. Oh, Carmen will come on in anyway. <laughs> uh, um, so I was sitting on my, on my couch... Like half dressed in my like catering get up with my little vest, and um, I got followed on Twitter by Andy Miantis, and I was like, "Well, that's not so weird. We have a lot of mutual friends. He probably is just following me." Yeah, yeah. Um, but he was following me so he could direct message me, and he immediately messaged me, which I will pull up right now so that I say exactly what happened. A lot of direct messages, dude. Man. This thing happened in the last year where like direct <laughs> oh, messaging started being used for like legitimate business, business and networking things, yeah. which is like weird. But anyway. Social media's taken over the game. Yeah, it sure is. So, he hits me up with this message that says, Hey, dude, A, Matt Doyle says we should be buds. B, looking for an actor-musician for a project in L.A. starting very, very soon. Checking your availability. Do you have a summer job yet? And so I was just like, oh, like, you know, we we just closed the show Brooklynite uh, yeah, that yeah. I had was in with Matt, and Matt had mentioned to me that I'd get along with Andy just because we all like video games and stuff. And from there, he was kind of like, here's what's going on. We need someone to play voice of Moritz and play guitar in this show because uh, they had an actor who had to pull out because he got another job. Um, And, you know, this was the second production of this show that they were doing. They moved from a 99-seat theater in L.A. to this bigger theater in L.A. Oh. Um, Yeah, so all the the groundwork had been laid. Um, It was this very critically acclaimed thing. And it was nuts because when I was doing the American Idiot tour, our music supervisor, Jared Stein, was the guy who was working on this Spring Awakening. And we had been talking about it. He was like, I think you might be right for this. And I was like, well, send me the details. And I was like, I can't move out to L.A. for... 100 bucks a week or whatever that like yeah, you know the contract the 99 was, was. Yeah. so I was like good luck with it you know and then I saw the reviews and I was like ooh I wish I could have been a part of that but then the universe worked its ways and then you know Andy was like okay cool like I'm glad you're interested let me like talk to Michael who yeah. his his fiance at the time now right, husband right. who uh, was directing he said let me, let me reach out to him and just like Explain to him that you're interested. So I went to my catering shift <laughs> the next day. Same exact situation. I was in my little catering outfit once again. And um, I got you him. You weren't at- working. You were just wearing the catering outfit. No. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to feel gorgeous. Um, so, I, so, you know, I got, I got reached out to by that guy, Jared, who I said, he's like, hey, can you, would you be able to hop on Skype right now? And I was like, yeah, sure. No problem. I get on Skype and then it's like. Two of the producers, Jared and Michael Arden, just sitting there. I was like, hey, guys. Like, what's up? Glad I dressed up for you. I know. So, Tim, you look a little bit like um, 
Adam Scott. Yes, I've gotten that many, many times. I'm just in the catering uniform. I just imagine you like partying party down. Like, are we having fun? Yet? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's good. I, the, the Adam Scott thing comes up more than you'd ever imagine. But, but. Yeah, so Michael was just like, this is like a gorilla audition. Like, we're attacking you with an audition. Like, can you just, like, sing really quick? And I was like, yeah, hold up. Let me grab my guitar. And I was like, should I just sing Don't Do Sadness? Is that fine? And they were like, yeah. So I just played it and sang it. And then they're like, awesome. Okay, we'll we'll talk about this and we'll figure it out. 30 seconds after the Skype call ended, I get a text from Michael. He's like, we want you to do it. We think you're the guy for it, blah, blah, blah. And within, like, three or four days, I was on a plane out to LA to just do this thing, being put up in one of the producer's houses just to do it because it was such a last minute replacement and these stories are amazing. It's yeah. nuts. It's these are my favorite part of the podcast. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean well it's also, also getting drunk. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's speaking of. Yo, yeah, Cheers. speaking of. Cheers. Hey, yo, uh, Cheers. 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 Jumped on a plane and flew to LA, stayed in this guy's house and put on the show. Yeah, and the house was uh the house was like literally four houses up the hill from Andy and Michael's. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm just here. Like, they were like, we're really close to you. So, you know, every day I walked down the hill, we'd have our coffee, we'd go to rehearsal. I was really given like a wonderful experience of living in LA and like making theater out there, which doesn't, doesn't really so much get to happen. And now it's starting to, now that yeah. Michael's, you know, working with that theater to, yeah. to oh, be artist. I mean, he's doing Merrily Roll Along with like Wayne Brady. It's incredible. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's dope. Um, and, oh my god, this will be a fun surf podcast. That first day, yeah. there was a giant, there was, I had this, this apartment house was dumb. I will never <laughs> own anything like this. Yeah, like, yeah. But uh, our producer had just moved into it. He's like, I'm so sorry, there's literally no furniture. So all I had was like a pull-out bed and no furniture. But I had the most amazing view you you could imagine. It had a patio that looked out over all of Los Angeles. So you were like North Hollywood? like on the- uh, Silver Lake. Okay. Like yeah. in the hills of Silver yeah, Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. Wow. I'm out there, and they had just dropped me off recently, and I'm, like, chilling there. I'm, like, man, I, like, what a whirlwind this has been. And then I start seeing smoke rise from, like, just down the hill a little bit. Um, and I'm, like, huh, I guess someone, like, lit a fire or something. Yeah. The smoke started turning from gray to, like, black. Okay. No. And I was, like... They were electing a pulp. Yes, they sure were. <laughs> and I was, like, what in the hell is going on? And then from black to a pillar of fire. Whoa. And I was, like... Whoa! Like something's going on here, and then just like flames in the air. So I call nine one one, and they're like, "Are you in Silver Lake?" I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "It's it's been reported. Like, don't worry, just get out of the area as fast as you can." I was like, "It's a volcano." Okay, better <laughs> than a volcano. Vol- okay. I run out. I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, this is like I just got here, um, and then Michael drives down the block. He's like, "I was looking for you to make sure you're good. Like, you see that, right?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "I don't know where Andy is. We gotta go, I gotta go find Andy." So he was like, "Just stay, you know, down the hill. I'll find Andy. I'll pick him up." We get together, everything's okay, you know, fire comes and puts puts out this fire, it, this explosion fire. Then we all, like, rendezvous back at Andy Michael's house, and we throw on the news, and there's a helicopter going above, like, filming it, and apparently it was a drug den that, it was like a, a home, like a gorgeous home, that just, like, a drug cartel was using as a front. And apparently someone had tipped off the police, which is how they got there so fast, oh. that, they were, that, that they were there, so these guys... L- Blew the, they blew their place up, Whoa. and it was the most like Breaking Bad thing that I've ever. I, I like, couldn't. Wow. Be, and like Andy and Michael were laughing. They're like, "It's your first day here, and Silver Lake is adorable." So I don't know how. They, like, <laughs> like, like I don't know. Like, this part of LA, and they're just, it was like, it was so crazy. You showed up, it was like a disaster movie. They're yeah, like, I can't find Andy. Get back in the car. It really was more high stakes than I made it sound for at least ten minutes. But it, wow. but it was crazy. it was crazy. What's your if you're stranded on a desert island? Mm-hmm. And you had one console with one video game. What would it be? The obvious follow-up question to that story. Yeah, they're connected. Uh, <laughs> God. Right now... Or even, like, just your all-time favorite. You <coughs> play over and over again. Well, I could give you an all-time favorite, but I, I, I could... I'm going to answer the question more. I'm thinking of, like, replayability, where I'm at, this and that. Okay. I'll take a PC, and I would take Overwatch with me. And yeah. we're going to assume I have internet connection and can yeah, play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've just been playing that game a whole bunch with my friends. That's the so. magic of this scenario. Yeah, well, it's, everything works. Is that the one with the cute girl in the airplane? The commercial for it? I Jay don't made me know. watch some like preview for a video game that made him cry. I was and like, it was like this little girl in the that's museum probably, or something. There is... Being like, that, 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 you're, you may be right. It's, okay. it's a multiplayer shooter, but it's like it looks very Pixar-y, and it's yeah. very... Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty great, and 
Yeah. A Pixar shooter game? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, on the heels of that, what's your favorite musical? <sighs> God. You're stranded, so you're going me. to the island to play your video mm. game, to play Overwatch, and you're given, like, a magical ticket that you can write in any musical, and you can go see that musical that night before you go away forever to play a video game. What do you see? Very specific. Yeah. yeah. It's so hard. Um, I'm very bad at picking favorite things. If it was yeah. unclear by me, like ravaging my face and hair as I like try to think about it. Um, you know, there was a time where I definitely would have said Spring Awakening, but yeah. like after you do it, you have such a different relationship with it that it like yeah, yeah. morphs and changes. Um, man, probably something like probably something like Sweeney Todd, mm-hmm. just because it's so masterfully done, and like I'll be able to watch it numerous times and find things that I didn't find musically or this or that or something. And also Sweeney Todd's just like badass. It's, it's, it's great. Are you excited for the new one in December? Well, I was. And then it sold out in like 20 yeah, hours. Oh, that's so crazy. Bad. Yeah, because my, well, my friend Matt, Matt who is yeah. pivotal in me even being here right now, yeah, yeah. Um, he, he's in it. Oh, right. He's Toby. No, he's oh, no, no, no. Uh, Anthony. 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 That makes more yeah, sense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With arms like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I, 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 it sold out in like 20 hours, I was like, all right, I've got a couple days to, like, sit down and, like, choose this or whatever. And then they did it, and then they announced an extension, and wonderful news for this theater that they made so much money so quickly, but, like, you know, now I'm like, well, the only seats that are left are, like, random, like randomly scattered throughout, so I'd have to go alone, like, without somebody, and then, like, in the extension that they just added, like, smartly, they have raised the prices because they can, yeah, yeah. and yeah. they should, but yeah. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's uh, going to be the, awesome. the total best and yeah. be really cool to see. Um, so speaking of things that you get excited about, mm-hmm. what show or thing or th- happened to you that you were like, oh, I want to do that? Spring Awakening, when I was a kid. Oh yeah? Was that their first Broadway show? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was, wasn't my first Broadway show that I'd ever seen, because I'm from New Jersey. Oh, so no, I, where are you from? Bergen County. Oh, from Essex. There we go. Nice. South. Ooh. Yeah. Burlington yeah. County. Ooh, you're different. Breathe. <laughs> um, it's from, true. I'm from Florida. You're an even different breed. <laughs> even more different yeah. breed. Who was your first Broadway show? Phantom. What was... And then, to explain your Spring Awakening story. I mean, it was just one of those things that, like, I was 15 or 16 when, you know, when it came around. We went with, like, my high school's, like, drama club. Yeah. We had to, like, sign permission slips oh, because there were boobies. Oh, that's a fun thing to see yeah, with, yeah, parent, yeah. with a teacher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still have to sign permission slips for boobies. Well, <laughs> don't we yeah. all? Um, <laughs> but, I don't. But, no, you don't. Yeah, you no, don't. you don't. Um, <laughs> I don't either, but it's all right. <laughs> um, it's our cabin. There he is. Um, no, but yeah. So, so it was one of those things that you know I had I had been a, a musician and playing guitar since I was in like fifth grade. Yeah. And I saw this thing, and and it was the first time I'd ever seen a musical that I was like, huh? There's some sort of like world out there where if this is something I wanted to pursue, I could because it it's not just like. You know, giant strapping men kicking their head and spinning and, yeah, and yeah. singing with like bellowing vibratos and things. Because you know, I grew up like in bands and playing like rock music and yeah. stuff. So I saw it and I was like, wow. And that kind of that show kind of set me off on a path of wanting to wanting to do it and take it more seriously. Um, because I was in a spot where you know you're 15, 16. People are like, what are you going to do? What do you want to be? Mm-hmm. And I didn't know if I wanted to be a musician or if I wanted to be a video game designer yeah. or like, different wh- things. very different things. Um, <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I didn't know what to, what I was going to want to do. And I saw that and it made me think about things more seriously. And, you know, when I junior and senior year, then when I did the plays, I was more serious about it. And I yeah. was like, you know, I think I'm going to try to do this. Um, and you know the irony of it being Spring Awakening and that yeah. ha- that role and that having gone yeah. on to be—it's truly kind of crazy how we've talked to a lot of people on this podcast and there's we do a lot of full circles. There's a, so many full circles. Mm-hmm. There is. Yeah, and it's it's hard to. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I was agreeing. <laughs> you, you didn't see it, listeners, but he just said there is and like slowly nodded. Like, <laughs> like, um, but yeah, man. I mean, so I think sometimes you're just. I don't know. I think I think I think the person for the job. Especially in these kinds of situations, it's just it's meant to. to I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like a fate believer. I don't really believe in like predetermination and things like that. But in this case, man, like I was the guy for that job. I really, I really was. You know, yeah. they were looking for something very specific. They needed they needed somebody who could feasibly play the role, but in a different way, yeah. and also play the score on guitar, which was like har- even harder to find. Yeah, and I, you know, 
yeah, I mean, I can imagine the pressure on you because Gallagher won the Tony. Sure did. And then all of a sudden you're playing, I mean, I don't know if you consider it two-thirds or one-half because you did guitar and voice versus... But there are only two of you. Yeah, it's but weird. <laughs> it's super weird. I was just thinking of that too because it's just like well, I had to. Yeah, I guess explain that working with the other actor. On yeah, his name was uh, his name's Daniel Durant. Uh-huh. He's a wonderful deaf actor. I mean, he was brilliant. He, he's great. He yeah. really is great. And he had his own version of what that role is. And there's something that show was something special. Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I agree. I think I'm, I'm very it'll probably be one of the things I'm proudest of in my whole life. Yeah. And I'm still very early in that. But um, you know, I. I he had his own interpretation of this role because he didn't ever see John and he didn't know a lot. You know, there, oh, yeah. there are a lot of, th- and even if he saw John, he wouldn't have picked up on certain things that we'd like think of that role being and, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And you know, so many things like he, j- he just played the role in such like a truthful and honest way to his experience as a deaf person, because in the show, you know, he's a deaf character being forced to speak in class, which is something he can't do because he's never heard sound. So he doesn't know how to make these shapes with his mouth. And, and that's why Moritz is failing out of school in this case, because he can't, yeah. everything is stacked against him in a way that's completely unfair. So from my perspective, I had to come in and be like, so my job here is to try to watch that, try to make my voice do what he is doing while still having it be truthful to me. Cause it's not a voiceover. It won't work. It, it doesn't, it does, something about it doesn't gel if you think about it like that. So it's like me interpreting his acting choices through my own interpretation and my acting choices to, to like meet him in the middle, but also pay respect to what people are expecting because people, the revival was, the show was recently produced, so people were really expecting yeah. something. And then. And it had such intense fans. Right, like I right. I saw the original five times. So yeah. when I went back to the other one, I was just like. Try not to try not to think it's going right. to be exactly the same. <laughs> and it couldn't have been more different, but it was yeah. it was a crazy thing. And then on top of all of that, I'm still you know delivering all of the lines, but following his speed and pacing of it. And then during the songs, it's my job to sing the song, but also give him cues so he knows what line of the song we're on because he doesn't know that. So oh. part of my job was to like again for listeners, you don't see this. I'm giving little numbers on my chest, and you know things like that will give the deaf actor an idea of where we're at so like you know like it'd be like I didn't do this particular one but our actor who was playing Melchior Austin he would go like again you're not going to see this but I'm giving numbers well, well, at the start it'll be on our Instagram great there we go yeah. so it would be oh she's going to she's going to whip it out she's whipping it out she's whipping it out right now yeah, let's do it. I'll do it right now I'll do it right now um, so you know he would go with one finger oh, I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting he would go with one finger <laughs> God, I dreamed there was an angel who could hear me through the wall as I cried out like in Latin, this is so not life at all, help me out. You know, things like that. So he would know what line of the song to be signing. He'd so catch in his cool. peripheral vision so cool. and all of that. So I'm doing things like that. That's just something you don't think about as an audience member that went into the direction. I know. Yeah, and, and you, I mean, the things that, the work that happened that the audience never saw in this show is is mind-blowing to me. And I did it and understood it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, our, our choreographer, Spencer Liff, who, um, I, the work he did in that show, I think was almost too good that people didn't realize what he had done. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not someone to harp on awards, but like my heart broke when he did not get a nomination for his choreography. But I right. think that that is because he, much like his work in Hedwig the year prior or whatever, yeah, yeah. made his, made his work invisible. Because his job was to disappear, so you didn't think about it. But something he always said was his favorite parts of the show were when things got ever so slightly unhinged, so that the audience could remind themselves, like, oh my god, like, wait, these people can't hear. Like, you know, everything was so perfectly done, and and every sign was chosen, and every, every hearing actor is cueing the deaf actors, and we are such a cohesive unit that if one person stops paying attention for a moment, this whole show is going to fall apart. And yeah. And it's those moments when something just went, whoop, like, we got to fix that, yeah. that the audience can, like, you know, like, oh, uh, the, right, yeah. like, like, these actors aren't just signing, they are deaf, they don't have yeah. any concept of where we are musically, which was just a bananas thing to, to do and think about. Well, cheers to yeah. <laughs> that yeah. production. It was cool, guys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> awesome. Thank well, you very much. On that note, let's play some, let's play some games. Let's do it. So, 
The first game is called Take a Hint. Seven got the busted pencil. The busted Halloween yeah. pencil. Well, it was Spooky. in my. It was on my desk, and it looked like um, David Pumpkin's suit. David, guys, so we, gotta we gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk. He's on your um, any questions. Any questions? Oh, wait, I saw it. <laughs> Listeners, you can't see this, but it is a photo of me wearing the suit. Oh, no. where? I found it. I was walking past the spirit of Halloween with my friend because that's where they sell it. And I live up in, in Harlem. And I was like... Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I was like, yeah. let me just like pop in there real quick. Because like on the internet, that thing sold out in like two seconds. Right. Um, and I walked in and there they were just sitting there. like Because it's like, you know, like if they're going to be anywhere, it's going to be in the spirit of Halloween right. in Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I walked <laughs> in, man, and I like tried it on. I was like, I'm not going to buy this, but like, let me see how much it costs. And it said $40, but was scribbled out and had a hundred over it because they knew right. that, like, that it, everybody wanted this thing. <laughs> and I was Someone like, called and was like, guys, something happened last night on SNL. Yeah, I know. Just upcharge it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Anyway. All right. Let's do what's, what's happening. Okay. So we were playing three games. So, okay. and all the point, and the points from all of the games will count towards your total score and decide who wins the prize. Okay. Amazing. Okay. So the first game is called Take a Hint, so just make a little spot for you to write your score in for there. Take the a break, second take a hint. Yeah, that's what I was Yeah. I mean the, the game's actually called Take a Hint, but I, I thought of it that way. Take Loose hint. lyrics is the second. Ooh. And Pick a Little Talk a Little is the third game. Okay, so I'll explain our first game. Okay. I will also hand out another piece of paper. Okay. Okay. On this piece of paper you're gonna rip it into okay. like thirds. Okay. Rip it into thirds? Yeah, but you, you write things down on it and then... So, I want each of you to write a the name of a show, the name of a character, and the name of an actor or actress. They can be different from each other. Different from each other, three different pieces of paper. One on each. One, One on, on each. each, okay. So, actor, actor, character, character show. show. And I'm going to do it too. And then we're going to make a pile in the middle. Or actually, let's use a cup. I was like, I should bring a bowl for this game. And I was like, I am not bringing a bowl around with me all day. That would be ridiculous. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I'll explain the game while Kevin finishes up his words. Yeah, Kevin. How many times do you pull it? Just once? Just once. So this game is called Take a Hint. Take a Hint. If it is your turn to guess... That was you not will. a fart. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, sounded, that sounded real good. Hold on, wait, ready? Oh, it oh, really yeah. is. Yeah, it's it's totally sounds like you ever watch Freaks and Geeks? He just actually had to no. fart twice. And so he made I'm supposed it. to. I know I'm supposed there's to. There's a scene in Freaks and Geeks where the there's a guy and this girl that sit next to each other in like chemistry class, and they're on stools, and um, she gets up and farts, and then um, she goes, "Oh, it was just the chair." And then there's this whole like silent sequence of him like looking around, sitting on her chair, and trying to make like, squeak the same way, <laughs> and it doesn't work. It's fantastic. That's why. Mm-hmm. That's so good. So he just called you out, basically. Yeah. No, he called himself out. Yeah. He did it a third time. There it is. <laughs> you can't recreate that. No, you can't. Uh, so, if it is your turn to guess the answer, you will pass the cup to the person next to you. Okay. They will pick a slip of paper, and they will tell you one word to try and get you to guess what is on that slip of paper. If you get the correct answer from the one word, you get three points. Okay. If you can't get it from the one word, they pass it to the next person. They will add another word. So they will say that word again and then add a new one. Okay. If you get it then, you get two points. If you need to pass it to a third person and get three words, you get one point. Okay. If you cannot get it, you get zero points. Great. Okay. And so we'll each have a turn. Okay. Okay. Got it. Ready? Who wants to go first? You can start. I want to watch... I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna watch. I don't know how much of that I retained. Okay. <laughs> um, so then I'm going to pass the cup to you, Kevin. Okay. So then Kevin. So I pick a card. Yes. I, I say one word. They can guess it. Yes. Frost. Frozen. No. Ni- Frost Nixon. Do you keep guessing? You, you keep to... guessing. Do you get one guess? No, you can keep guessing oh, until you get it. But then why would you move it to the next person if you can keep guessing? Because he can only say I Frost. So that's the end. So until right. she, so she'll have to be like I'm. I don't so, know. Yeah. Frost. Does that makes sense. Yeah. yeah that's frost. A little Frozen walking. cupcakes. What? No. Like frosting? Yeah, but why would that be any of the three things that would go back? You said <laughs> before. You that's I said more Frost words. Nixon. Okay. Oh yeah, you can't say any words, Brian. Two words. Oh. But one is Frost. I'm trying to get you to guess that. Yes. But then that would work against me getting points. So you're trying. I to thought of that already, and I decided we were nice people, and that's not how we were going to play. Oh. Oh, Nixon. 
But it's not Frost Nixon. There are three types of things that you had us write down. <laughs> Which is a play. Frank Langella? Yes. Who wrote down Frank Langella? It was me. Of course you <laughs> You idiot. So that's how you get people to not win, is you choose really weird things like okay, Frank Langella. Okay, so you got, so so I got, you two, got two, two points. Two points. Okay. okay. So now, Kevin, it is your turn, so you hand it to Brian. It's my turn. Oh! You don't like the fact that you help we, other people get points. No, I get it. We yeah. just gotta not be rude. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Fiddler. Tavia. Yes. Damn. Oh! Woo! Look how nice so then I write am. down that you got three points. Look how nice I, I got guess you got three points. Okay, huh. so now... The next game, I did change the rules because I realized that you would have done something like that. Okay. But this game... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to win. Okay, so now Brian's trying to guess, and you're giving him one word. Correct. Vibrato. Falsettos. Audra. Yes. Damn it. Oh! But this game <laughs> Wow, I was thinking Carly Carmelo or somebody. Like, that's what I was going to say. Vibrato. But, like, who has the distinctive vibrato? Oh, it's Audra. Audra. Baker. Into the woods. Yeah. Good one. Great. Three points. Okay, so I'm losing. <laughs> so I move okay, to the next so game. We're going to move on to loose lyrics. Okay. okay. So, I want you all to write down a line of a lyric and a tune that most people know. And those yeah. are on two separate pieces of paper. Great. And I wrote down a few earlier, so I'll, we'll just use those. And then a tune that most people know unassociated with that lyric. Correct. Cool. And then when we play the game, in one cup... This one right here. You're going to put the lyrics. Okay. In this cup, you're going to put the tune. Again, Again. not a fart. <laughs> not a fart. It's a cute little fart, too. It's not like a nothing's ripping. It's just no, like a it's ready, like. like <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one at a time, you are going to pick a piece of paper from this is lyrics, this is tune. You're going to pick one from each cup. Yeah. One at a time. Sing the lyrics to the tune of the other piece of oh, paper. Oh man, that's up. really hard. Whoever guesses both the tune and the lyric gets the piece of paper. The so paper you, is a point. Yeah, that's, you win. This is mad hard. Right. This is right. super hard. Or like those okay, are the. I'm ready. Yeah, okay. this was a tricky one. Who's going one. first? I'll go first. Okay. okay. Brian's going first. So you pick one from the other. And, so and now we we're all trying. Yes, all three of us are trying to guess competing first. with each other. Yes. Okay. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. Yeah. You forfeit the place. Amazing Grace is the tune. In your bed. This is a uh, bird. bird. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even. I, oh, my brain didn't work. All right, I got a point, though. I got a point, though. So, burn to the tune of Amazing Grace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. All right. Ooh, this is a good game. All right. Okay. Midnight, not a sound from the... Memory! Me yes. Okay. And memory from cats. Is that correct? Yeah, because I wrote down. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and we've just learned that I don't know the lyrics to memory from cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The more you know. Also, like, the lyric I wrote ain't half that. That <laughs> was gonna keep going for a minute. <laughs> she gave you, like, a whole lyric. Mm-hmm. Okay. My white night... My White Knight. Well, yeah. um, from from Fifty Cent. Mm -hmm. Not a Lancelot, nor an angel with wings. <laughs> Broadway Baby. Yes. Who <laughs> <laughs> said My White Knight first? All right. <laughs> that one was really okay. hard. I was like, why are there more than? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to have to just repeat the same lyric over and over again. Okay. Um, this is what you waited for. This is what you waited for. I don't know uh, one, uh, This is mine. Uh, say it to me now from once. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would not have gotten that. I was trying to be a jerk. Okay, so <laughs> I got two. All right, points. I got three. I got one. I got three. Okay, okay next game. I got two. Oh, show cards. Show cards. Again. This next game involves our show cards. Oh, these things are cool. Okay. So I have a pile of show cards in my hand. This game is called Talk a Little... Sorry. Pick a Little, pick a little Talk a Little. 
So I have a. I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. Okay. So this is both a game of us all trying to be fast. You are going to pick up a show card. You are going to taboo style try to get the people around you to guess the card. Once they have guessed the card, you pass the pile to the next person. Got it. And after two minutes, whoever most got points. the most wins. Love it. Ready? Uh, Ready? Let me set for two minutes and go. Oh man. Uh, so I can say anything I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Riff raff. Riff Carney. Keep going. Nope. Uh, oh, Ryan. Uh, crazy. Oh, talk yeah, about vibratos. Yes. As far as I'm. Okay, so you, get, you keep that. You keep that. I keep that. You get that. Um, uh, Gloria Estefan. Uh, Anna Goldfania. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Hey, Anna. Like Friends, on like <laughs> Friends on Twitter. Friends on Twitter. Friends on Twitter. That's a good one. Um, 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 Matthew Morrison would have been friend of the show, Jeremy oh, Jordan. Oh, never mind. Oh. Okay. It worked. It worked. Oh, Bobby is the main character. Company. And the, yeah. I don't know who gets that. Well, we both got it. The <laughs> uh, genie. Uh, J- Jim Ragahart. No, no you, me. I keep yes. it. Uh, <laughs> keep wanting to give you things. Costume designer. Uh, Mary Mitchell Campbell. Wait, my love. You just like three. Kevin's just like, what's the three word name? <laughs> um, Bill Coleman, Ben Menu. Alan Cunningham. Hold on, this was a play, and it's British, and it had part one and Wolf Park. Wolf Park. Oh, Wolf Park. Wolf Park. Yeah. Wolf Park. <laughs> oh, part one and two. Oh, I thought it only said part two. Sorry. Um, it's the other public musical about a president. Oh, bloody bloody Andrew Jackson. That's right. Ah, yeah. Oh, good one. That show's great. The other one about heaven. Yes. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Come on. Um, Laura Oz is starting this. Cinderella. Cinderella. Bandstand. Bandstand. <laughs> Will. She wrote Rent. Jonathan Larson. Uh, directed bloody bloody Andrew Jackson. Oh. Alex Timber? No. Very good. Yeah? Okay. Very good. I have a brand over here. Uh, Chicago wrote it. Can't or no? Yes. Uh-oh. All right, that's that. I didn't pick this as my timer. That's that. It's not hot potato. So who, oh. what is it? Whoever, <laughs> like, Kimberly, whoever has the most. Well, Kimberly. You started. So we all have three. I have yeah, four. Yeah, but we could have been I faster. got four. I have three. So, so we, he started. So, so we have a. We, we each write a, down four. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Should I always see what everybody's points are? Yep. I have... I have ten. Nine. I have ten. I have eight. Seven. I'm the winner! Yay! What do you win, Kimberly? What do I get? No oh, that's way. that's Halloween candy. Yes. Yeah. I'm also not allergic to nuts. That's a good thing to win. <laughs> what a candy. I love it. <laughs> All right, dude. That's a good... I didn't know there was a prize even. That's dope. That's <laughs> good. There was. There was. That's... That actually brings us to the end of our show. Oh. I'm sorry. I know. That's fun. Um, we didn't get to talk about a lot, but um, what, give me one sentence about the Kickstarter for the Tonys. Um, thanks for doing it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there like, you go. It was more vital than a lot of people theorized that it was. Yeah. A lot of people were uh, really... We all saw the message boards, and we all saw everyone being very like, oh, this is a ploy. It, re- it really wasn't a ploy. Like, you know, I might be... Sp- May, money may have been fronted because it had to be, but like no. there was no way for us yeah. to to do that performance if we they weren't going to get the money back because they were literally just giving money out of their pocket to make it happen. Right. Because it was everybody felt vital for America and deaf people in America yeah. to get to see yeah. this, um, and also like you know selfishly that thing made like a ginormous dream come true for a lot of people. Absolutely. Um, and I've also candidly never been more nervous in my entire life yeah. as I was before I stepped up on that table. Well, oh. how much of a break was there between closing months, and Tony Months. Night? How months, much rehearsal a, did you have? A week, four days, like three days. Wow. We had three days. Like basically a brush up. Three days, a brush up on the, so- on, the, on the two songs, and then you have, you go to the recording studio um, and just like record some stuff. Uh, oh. And not all of it. It's not like lip synced. It's, it's, there's just not much time to do these things. Like the band records. And the band has the, to record yeah. everything. Yeah, um, I knew that. And then, um, and then we went to uh, the, the actual space at, at the Beacon for, I think we had a half hour, a half hour time slot to do wow. it. And then the next day we were at the Tony Awards and just getting like thrown around. And we were in the basement of the Beacon because we didn't have a theater to go to and from. Oh, oh so you didn't right. have a bus. We didn't have a bus because oh, we didn't have a... Cool. Just like the kids in the basement. Yeah. We, were, we, we got to sit there and watch the awards on a TV. And we also yeah. all Did watched Michael Arden's face not get shown oh, on the Tonys. That, that was, oh, that was so my favorite slash the worst It was moment. awful. It was awful because it was... And it was going, that's not me, that's not me. Yeah, Chris 
Fitzgerald was really fu- he was like this is not me please get the camera off of me so and terrible. all our whole cast ran around the TV we're like it's Michael it's Michael <gasps> oh, that was not. and then we were all just it's like waitress, it's waitress. yeah it was it was a bummer but you know oversights happen I guess sometimes so on that note we always end with a quote mm-hmm. and today it's let's find a rock I mean a big ass rock or maybe something like a, a cinder block is better I'll hoist it up and drop it on your face my buddy. What is that from? Just before the oh, lights no, go know. out. That's a my smile. Let's find a rock. We'll find a big ass rock. With a rock. I knew that part, but the rest of the lyrics I did not know. Honestly, that. that's, that's a great song. song. It's a great song. I thought that was Shrek. When Donkey goes like, so like, 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 I like that boulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big ass boulder. Oh, we're going on the table real quickly. We have a new segment called Do It. Where you pick one, we pick each pick one thing that we want you to do this week, theater wise. I'll start. Theater wise. I, or, so I really want you to see Sing Street. It was in the movie <gasps> yes! theater. It's a musical that the guy um, from um, once. Uh, once, as well as Begin Again, wrote and directed. Um, it's awesome. Just see Sing Street. Kevin. Mine is to go on YouTube and watch. Hand in Hand, sung by Lindsay Mendez by Kerrigan and Loudermilk. It will literally make you smile, not just because she's so amazing, but because uh, Loud- Brian Loudermilk is actually playing piano. Mine is silly, and it's my treadmill hack. But on Spotify, listen to the revival cast of the last five years, and run for the fast th- songs, and walk for the slow songs, and you get a good workout. That's a good one. Alex? Uh, he's about to leave Hamilton, so make sure that you are following Anthony Ramos on everything yes. and see where this kid's star goes because I've never met somebody and immediately known that they were going to yeah. do amazing things. As they say, who is this kid? What's he going to do? I'm not even mad because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even mad. <laughs> so we end every episode with they... Zoo Zoo two two up. Up. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Empty. Thanks. We'll be listening to us next week. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Bye.